Hey guys, what's up? It's Andre and I'm here with the new video about Gatsby and offline plugin. Now last time uh, in the interaction video of the Gatsby plugin offline, I showed you how you can enable offline mode for your website. But today I want to go a bit deeper to show you what kind of strategies the plugin uses and how you can adjust them. So I showed you my sample site the last time, but what I wanted to show you here is that in the Gatsby config, uh, the configuration options that I defined are quite minimal. Uh, I only tell uh, the plugin which pages to pre-cache and what the plugin is. But uh, it might be useful to tell the plugin where it should take the data from. So there are multiple strategies that the plugin uses and you can find uh, the default strategies when you look at the Gatsby plugin offline page in Gatsby's documentation and see the overriding workbox configuration link here. So these are the options that the plugin uses by default. If you don't specify any of these, the plugin will fall back to this configuration. Now you see that for any assets that end with .js, .css or are in the static folder, which means the static assets that your website uses, it will use the cache first strategy. For the page data.json, it will use the network first strategy. And for other resources that are images, or uh, Google Fonts, it will use stale while revalidate. Let's take a look at what these strategies actually mean. If you want to know more about this, I'm going to share a link to this page uh, down in the description of the video. So let's take a look. The service worker acts as some kind of a middleman between your website and the server. Um, and how it works with the stale while revalidate strategy is that the page first asks for, uh, for the resource and the service worker goes into cache and provides that back to the page. And then silently, while your user already has the resource, um, is making a request to uh, the server, to the remote server, and returns the data back to cache so that the cache stays up to date. The next strategy is cache first. If you want to cache first, then the service worker first goes to cache, and if it cannot find the resource, it will ask the remote server. The cache only, on the other hand, uh, works, uh, works similarly, but if um, there is a cache miss, so the data are not in cache, it will throw an error. It does not bother going to the remote server, so the data has to be in cache. The strategy network first will actually uh, work the other way around. So, first of all, it will try to fetch the data from the network, and if it does not find any, it will go to cache as a fallback. The network only works just like cache only, only with networks. So it will only go to network, and if it cannot find the resource on the remote server, it will uh, return an error. It will not bother going into cache. So these are the, the five strategies that you can use when uh, providing uh, resources or assets for your websites. Again, the link to this page is down in the description. Take a look if you're interested. And now let's take a look at how we can change the strategy for some of our assets. I'm going to copy and paste this into the configuration of uh, my site and it goes into options. And I'm going to set the URL pattern to the assets that are coming from the headless CMS into my site. The handler will be stale while revalidate because I want to provide the assets as soon as possible, but then I want to refresh them to make sure that the visitors see uh, current data. And I'm defining additional options here uh, so that only responses with statuses uh, 0 or 200 are cached. So in case there is an error, it won't cache the error, it won't cache uh, an invalid resource, uh, but it will require one of these uh, HTTP statuses. And now let's build the site and test it online. So the website is running and I know for sure that this page is coming from the headless CMS. So you see here it has a URL assets uh, dash US KC user content and so on. So this image should definitely be cached using the stale while revalidate uh, strategy. Now I want to stop the website and try to look at uh, the whole blog post. So it should show the image. 
So you see the image is there. And it should tell me here that it's using stale while revalidate to respond to that URL. And now you see that I only switched off my local server. So the stale while revalidate, when it's trying to load silently the new image and store it in cache, there are no errors here because the HTTPS assets US user content com, this uh, server is still running. I still have access to it. So the network request will pass. But all the other requests that are trying to get data from the local server that I just switched off, the IIS, are generating uh, failed network requests. This is, even though I'm not doing anything as a user, because Gatsby is trying to load the resources silently on the background, and those requests are failing because the server uh, is now switched off. So make sure to always use the right strategy for uh, your assets. Uh, in case you don't know, simply use the default configuration as is defined in the Gatsby plugin offline configuration that works well for, for most sites. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel using that link. And if you're on Twitter, make sure to follow me on twitter.com slash underbus to make sure you won't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.